verse number seven and then there's another verse I want to read just one part of that in Psalm 20 verse 2 I, I found this one Psalm 138 Psalm 138 verse number seven when you have it say amen, amen. I really want to focus on the A clause in this. I'm going to read the whole thing but we're going to focus on the A clause. It just simply says though I walk in the midst of trouble Thou will revive me. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou will revive me. He said, you're going you're gonna to stretch out your hand against mine enemies. He said, your right hand. Your right hand, the right hand of power is going to save me. I want to look at Psalm, uh, Psalm 20, verse number 2. Psalm 22. Now, if you got to take them out, go on, take them out. It's all right. It's, it's all right. Psalm 20, verse number 2. The A clause, just simply, the A clause simply says, send thee help from the sanctuary. And strength, strengthen thee out of Zion. Send thee help. Somebody say help. Yeah. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strength. Strengthen thee out of Zion. Send thee help from the sanctuary. Psalm says, though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Uh, the pastor says, send thee help from the sanctuary. I want to preach for the next few minutes. The Lord is reviving me. Just tell somebody, say, the Lord is reviving. The Lord is reviving. The Lord is reviving me. I think we need to understand that though we are spirit-filled, though that we are uh, anointed by God and we're, we've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I think Psalms says, Psalms 107 says something like this. It says, uh, uh, talking about being redeemed, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed out of the hand of the enemy. And I think we all need to understand that though we have been redeemed, though that we, we've been born again and washed in the blood of the lamb had our sins washed away and we don't live like we used to live and 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 we're, we're striving for perfection we're striving to live right before god and i know uh, i know sometimes folk make it difficult y'all ain't i know folk folk make it difficult to live right the devil is using his time to try to knock us off of the purpose and the plan of God. I want to encourage somebody today that God has, he has purpose in your life. Tell somebody that, say, God has purpose in your life. God has purpose in your life. And, and, and even the thing about that, even the enemy knows that you have purpose. He knows that, 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 that God has stamped you. God has stamped his approval on your life. We have a church full of people who's been stamped by God. Approved by him. Your test and your trials has, has proven that God has stamped himself upon you. If God had not stamped.